Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art. Uh, I'm going to make this a little video rant for just a few minutes. I'm going to make an effort not to go on for too long. Mm, but you know what that usually means, I go on for too long. <laughs> Look, I want to show you something. My grandson made me this last year. He was like 10. I think he's turning 12 this year, so he made it last year. He's 11. He felted this himself. He sewed it himself. He designed it. He put the button on. Isn't this just like the most sweet thing in the world? He felted this material on his own and made me a little pouch. This is why we are doing this. This is why we cannot ignore Fukushima. This is why I can't ignore Fukushima. These magnificent people that are in my life deserve for me to demand the scientists to tell the fucking truth about what's happening. You know, you know what I did with this little pouch? I went to the dollar store and I bought these little kid things and they're like little good luck sayings. So I put them in here and when people leave my house, I ask them, hey, do you want to pick a lucky card? <laughs> and they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, a lucky card. So here, have a lucky card. So let's pick one. This one says, uh, dream big. Look on the back of it. See, it's a pretend like postcard on the back with a little saying. What does that saying say? Aim for the stars. Dream big. Here, this is what it says. No one can do everything, but everyone can do something. Holy motherfucker. Check that out, you guys. That's a message from the universe for all of us. Look at how cute that is. No one can do everything, but everyone can do something. Exactly right, folks. That's what we need. We need everybody to do something. That's what Carl Grossman said. That's why I'm active. That's why I contacted Kevin Blanche. That's why I keep going after my uh, relationship with the Post Ignorance Project ended. Because guess what? We can all keep doing something. Uh, I want to update people about the uh, radcast.org, the effort on the GoFundMe page to get money. Nobody's generating money in the Northwest, and this is what I don't get. I know I have subscribers, a few subscribers in the Northwest. N nobody is giving money to the Radcast so we can test our food. If you don't have money and you are in the Northwest or in Idaho or anywhere near the fucking Northwest, find somebody that you do know that has money and send them the GoFundMe page and say, hey, look, even 50 bucks would help. We only need $5,000, which means 100 people giving 50 bucks is $5,000. I think it's actually going to be like 6200 but I could help figure out, cover the rest of it. If we if we got $5,000, we'd fucking figure out a way to get the rest of it. I could slam it all the rest of them on a credit card if we had to. But, uh, and the Fukushima Children page, nobody has contributed to that. I've gotten lots of people saying, oh, that's a great idea. That's a really good idea, but nobody's contributed. My guess is that there's already lots of pages that are saying, hey, give to kids in Fukushima. We're going to help these families in Fukushima. I get that. But that doesn't mean that they don't need help. Um, I don't know what else to tell you, but there, the GoFundMe page will not have my bank account on it the, for the Fukushima children. It will have the bank account of the families. Uh, when we get money in, right now the GoFundMe page for the Fukushima children has no bank account attached to it. And that is specific because we do not want the money to go anywhere except directly into the bank accounts of those families. So that was one thing. And then the other thing I really wanted to talk to people about is getting together. Like, I think I have a few subscribers who have indicated they're in Oregon or Washington or here in Eugene. And if we're in the same town or the same city and we're of like mind, I think it's beneficial for us to get together and figure out what actions we can all take and start taking actions and figuring out things that we can do. Because I'll tell you the truth, it's a lot 
easier and more fun to do it with other people. I've been taking action by myself pretty much for a long time. I've had people say they were going to come with me and they were going to do things and then the rain and blah, blah, whatever. So I end up doing things on my own and I would certainly love to have anybody who's in the Northwest be with me on this one. Uh, I am in Eugene. I do not live in Portland. Portland's about two hours away, but I think that's a good idea. I am not inclined to go out to the Columbia Generating Station. I do not want to fucking radiate my body by being near the Hanford site. That's not my gig. I know everybody's like, well, you got to get out there. I frankly don't want to go near a nuclear power plant. But I don't mind working to shut the fucker down because I think it's a danger to everybody and I don't want to be near it. But I do want to close it down. So if anybody in the Northwest wants to work with me, I have some ideas and I'm really, I guess I'm begging you to help get involved with me because I can't do everything all by myself. I'm not very effective all on my own uh, on getting these big actions done. Um, I think what we ought to do is make an, a, a planned, uh, a concerted effort to talk to our elected officials and help educate them. Many of them don't know the reality of the situation. They just listen to the nuclear cartel. And uh, these people are all well respected from the nuclear, you know, criminal, you know, crime labs of the nuclear industry. Uh, I think that the nuclear industry are criminals. They're murdering our children in the future. And I'm super sick of it. Like we now have a shitload of stuff going on. Since I've been engaged in this for two years, can you imagine? Like, there are people out there who were like I was, completely unaware. If I had not had a nightmare on May 5th, 2012, I would be just like all my fucking relatives. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? But I had a nightmare that was so real, so vivid, and it drove me to the Internet. And then I started looking. I thought Hanford was on fire. I started looking and realized... Holy ma bully, ma'am, Fukushima is so out of control. And then I found Miss Milky the Clown, and then I found Helen Caldicott and Carl Grossman and Kevin Blanche, and who was the other people in the very beginning? Um, what says Hattrick Penry? I guess I was listening to Hattrick Penry. And... Troy Livingston, he was another one at the very beginning. A lot of people stop putting out videos and they only do them sort of specialized. It gets weary. I'll tell you, I after having been engaged in this for two and a half, almost three years, it's like, what the fuck are we doing this for? Because we're super screwed. It's worse now than it was three years ago. Uh, we're, I mean, I can't even believe we're going to have Fukushima going on for five years, folks. Not only do we have Fukushima going on for five years, we now know that six million Americans are drinking 89 times. The University of Illinois conducted the study and proved it. 89 times the maximum contamination limit. Six million people in the United States are drinking contaminated water out of their aquifers. Tritium is leaking into the aquifers in, from uh, Indian Point into New York City. Tritium, high levels. They've now changed the Becquerel levels from 70 to 7,000 allowable Becquerels. What the fuck is going on here? Uh, hormesis is not good. Radiation causes genetic harm. This bullshit lie is going to last about 20 years until people are sick of having lots of people die. Maybe John Goffman was right. But you know what I say? Fuck them. We need to organize and we need to fucking push back Get in our elected officials' faces, our mayor, our, like locally, we need to get involved at the state level and we need to contact our congressmen and our senators and, you know, go along to get along. Ron's just going to have to hear from a lot more of us here in Oregon. That's all. I mean, he'll push back. He doesn't care. He's just, he's fucking rich. He doesn't care about us. What he cares about is keeping his little prestigious little job so his kids can go to the right school and they can have all the right opportunities. He's not even thinking about the fact that they could be fucking genetically mutated, that their children might be sterile, that when they're 20, 25 years old, he has two little twin girls who are probably 10 or 12 years old now. 
Fukushima happened four or five years ago. We got blasted on the Northwest. For all we know, Ron Wyden's two little children might have severe leukemia in 10 years. Is it going to be worth it, Senator Wyden, for your children to get cancer in 10 years because you decided to keep your fucking trap shut? I have three grandchildren that really, frankly, every one of us with grandchildren or small children can't help but look at our children and wonder how many of them are going to be affected. How many of our children are going to get cancer? How many will have diabetes? How many will have lymph gland problems, endocrine problems, be sterile when they're 19, 20 years old? God, you know, being sterile is probably like the best thing. We wouldn't even mind that. Because then you don't pass down the genetic mutations. I mean, this is, we're talking serious shit here, folks. This is not small things. And we cannot just decide not to think about it. Because whether you're thinking about it or not, the radiation is harming us. Seriously, seriously. Not just us, our children, our grandchildren. Our species fitness as a species Species fitness means your ability to procreate and your ability to survive. So our ability to procreate is diminishing every year with radiation. And Fukushima is just off the charts. We now have Las Vegas blowing up. We have Bayou Corn. God knows when that one's going to go. We have St. Louis just a few hundred meters away. Big smoldering incinerator. God knows which other. I mean, if we listen to the nuclear alerts that I read every Monday on my radio show, there's shitloads of things going wrong. On top of, let's just don't mention the stolen or uh, missing equipment and radiation that mysteriously leaves the lab or somehow is misplaced every fucking week. The nuclear industry is the only industry in the world where you get rewarded for being fucking incompetent and being a good liar. It is outrageous. The more you can lie well in the nuclear industry, the better, the greater your salary is. Just look at the people at the top there. I mean, honestly, it's outrageous. Anyways, I'm going to end here. The, the light in my fucking glasses is driving me crazy. <laughs> That's really why I'm going to end. It's probably a good thing. So, ciao, you guys. You know what? Please, let's get together. Let's figure out ways to put pressure on our elected officials because guess what? This has just fucking got to stop. We cannot just continue to bitch and bitch and bitch and bitch about it. We have to take action. It's And action means dealing with the stupid motherfuckers that we can't stand to talk to. Our elected officials, the big bootlickers who will lie to our fucking faces and try to get us arrested for nothing at all. Because they don't want to have to think about it. That's really what we're going to have to stand up against, you guys. And we have to be willing to do it for our little babies, for these people, the sweet little angels who create things like this. You know how hard he worked on this for me? People deserve that. We deserve each other. We deserve love. We deserve good lives. We do not need to just capitulate and give in to these motherfuckers because they've created such a catastrophic event that we have no fucking idea how to stop it. True, we don't have any idea how to stop it. That doesn't mean we have to let them continue doing it. For fuck's sake, they can at least stop what they're doing now. Stop it. Just stop. The Queen's uranium mines are going to have to be closed up. That's really what we're confronting is the Queen of England. She's decided she's going to make a shitload of money poisoning the fucking planet because she owns all the uranium mines. Well, fuck her. That's what I say. You know what? She can go fuck herself. Or all the little boys that get, you know, played with all throughout the Buckingham Palace bullshit. We got big challenges, folks, and we need to get fucking serious about it. And I really want people for us to get active and not just like talk to each other. I want us to take actions that poke them in the eye. 
The people who are making these decisions have to know that we mind. And we're not going to just take their bullshit lies. So I'm at 15 minutes. I guess that's long enough. <laughs> Ciao, you guys. I'll talk to you in a little while. Bye.